hello everyone today in this video we are going to install the laravel pack basically we are going to install the laravel multiple extension at one so let's go here and search for laravel laravel and then it will uh, let's click on this laravel extension pack which is offered by winnie lin which contains the 12 extension so let's uh, click on install so i'm going to explain that uh, what are the what are the extensions and how to what are the, what are their purpose so the first extension is laravel go to view so we manually install this we don't need this and it's not to uh, installing here because it's already installed and then next is editor configuration so we are not going to discuss this because it's a uh, after you know, first we are not going to install this uh, through this reader config we are going to go to the setting.json file and uh, set everything from there and here let's click on this dot to env it's installing so before this it will be installed so let me go to this env file and uh, check that how it look like so it's uh, not highlighting that these are variable and these are their values so let's uh, uh, take eye on this after successful installation of uh, this file so it will exactly uh, tell that uh, what are the variables and what are their values right so let's go here dot is now i think installed and yes it's installed so let's go to this env file so let's close this one and open reopen it okay so here by the way i'm going to switch uh, how i'm switching into the file so let's press ctrl and p at once and then you can search it in your project to uh, in file so let's search this env file go here and it's uh, still not loading so it will highlight the variable colors uh, name and then their values would be in the white color so it will make them blue right so I will also uh, tell you after its successful completion of this uh, whole pack. So let's go here. I uh, like it, it's displaying this here, right? So blue color and then the value. So you can also concat. So it's exactly telling that its concatenation is here, right? Okay, let's go back and here, let's click on this artisan. So now we are going to uh, view our artisan command. So, uh, view our route so how you can go uh, go to this route so you can also do this so uh, by watching this route list so let's uh, go here and here i'm going to type uh, uh, this uh, less than sign and then you need to type uh, route list right route to list and it's not to uh, highlighting any of the things why let me view the video route to lists okay maybe it's not properly installed that's why it's not doing this so let's wait for a moment to install this properly and then we are going to do this so let's uh, let's explore other ones so it's taking some time so when whenever these all will be installed so it will work uh, these all will work properly okay wait for a moment to install this so after this uh, successful installation i will come back let me pause the video okay guys it's successfully installed right so first we are going to go to our env file which is not working before so let's search for env file and yes now it's exactly highlighting the variable name with the blue color and its value is this one right so now we can easily differentiate these values and uh, stuff like that okay and then what's next so let's click on this laravel blade snippet click on it and you can also view it here in the terminal right so it's so uh, dev dot container so you can instantly add uh, parent class and, uh, and parent and child class at once right so you can also add the g directive b e x and stuff like that so let's uh, now go to the welcome blade you can go anywhere in the blade i'm just uh, referencing this welcome blade because it's by default installed in the uh, project so let's uh, here type you can negation and then after this negation uh, you can directly uh, hit tab 
and it will install the basic stuff for you and if you want to uh, you can also add this through this HTML and then five so you can add the HTML5 basic configuration and it's added at the uh, right and if you want to add the blade directive uh, for extend so you can search this BEX and uh, hit tab so it automatically added this here right so you can also search it for yield I type Y and now hit tab so it's added this yield so you can also add a multiple blade directive at once so you can also search this if and then go here b and then hit tab and yes it's added this blade directive you can also search this for each and then hit tab and it's added the for each so it's very easy to use uh, because it save a lot of time so time is money okay now let's go to the laravel snippets so what it's going to do so you can instantly create the route by typing some words and then you can type this so let's go to the web.php file and uh, here i'm going to type uh, route and then i'm going to i think it's not going to add let's give it a try i'm going to add this route and hit enter and yes now it's added full route with the url with the controller and with the name right so it's very easy you don't need to manually type the full route so you can do whatever you want so we can also add like i think public and in the controller you can define the function so let me go to the controller and in the controller here i'm going to i don't have i think i created the test controller so let me go to this test controller and here i'm going to create a function right so just type function and hit tab so it's not going to do anything why i think it's not allowing us no it's not allowing us so you can also install this extension for it for searching this to this uh, this extension so there is one laravel artisan so now it's going to work so I already viewed this you can search all of your route list by uh, using this artisan so here i'm going to type this uh, route oops i misspell it route list and now it's appearing so let's hit enter so it's going to open all of our route uh, routes right so wait for a moment to oh it says that route list could not be generated why so it's uh, having due to i think some error let me go to this uh, view here and uh, i think i remove this okay now it's going to open this out so you can also directly by typing this command php artisan route list it will open all of the routes for you so let me type this php artisan route list it's more readable then you can view this in the monitor so we have oh why because due to this one right so let me uh, clear this out first let me uh, clear this out and then type route list it will open all of the routes and you can also ignore these uh, uh, ignore these uh, uh, by default uh, these packages which is come with the vendor and stuff like that and you can also open this uh, here like this uh, route list hit enter so it's going to open the routes for you in the vs code and yes now it's opening right so let's uh, go back and uh, we did this here so let me delete this out and go to this extension okay after this you can go to view we already did this laravel extra intelligence so it's basically used for uh, telling the editor to these are the laravel method if you implement find so it will tell the editor this is a laravel method so let's dot we already checked this and you can also go to this so this laravel go to components why we use this when you are creating some components and registering them into the blade so you can instantly switch into the any of the components by uh, clicking um, by tapping uh, control and then hover on it so we can instantly switch into this all right so let me check the video size our video size is going bigger but i'm going to explain everything okay let me also check that how many things are remaining and then no not my things are remaining then go to blade formatter so it's automatically format our blade so how it's formatting so let's view it so you can instantly format these blade control plus shift and left plus 
and stuff like that you can also view it from there just use for basically formatting and then what's next laravel create to view and using dot notation so it's you can use the dot notation okay what is this so here uh, let me view it in the console usage of this okay 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 you can type the chord dot to show and then you can instantly um, by typing chord dot show so it will create a first directory and then create the blade for you i'm going to wrap out to very quickly okay so first one is laravel blade wrapper so why we use this wrapper so let's go here and check this uh, for each and yes we already did this why we use how we can uh, open the for each uh, if blade directive and uh, we also open the multiple blade directive like extend yield and stuff like that so hope you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for the upcoming videos so i will in the next videos we are going to add the namespace resolver add the spacer and stuff like that i will meet you in the next one bye bye